Previously on the writer's wardrobe. There's a zombie apocalypse. Right, now, where did he leave this bloody thing? Ah, there it is, loose phone. How long do you think the battery will last on this thing? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't call all of his contacts at once. If you're going to leave someone directions, leave them fucking directions. Don't leave them an ambiguous puzzle that they may or may not figure out. Being a zombie has changed him. Probably brain damage from when you parked the car on top of his head. I'll give him brain damage, all right? I'll give him... Um, I'll probably just stab him, to be honest. What's that? It's the phone, in your pocket. Oh, right. Would have been nice if the bullet hit the phone instead of my cheek, but whatever. Are you going to answer it? Could be important. Oh, yeah, it could be Veronica. Who's Veronica? I don't know, I just assigned her a random name so I'd stop calling a mystery woman. Into the bloody phone. Who's that? It says the whiz. Bit weird. Hello? Loomis, what in the six and a half hells is going on? This isn't Loomis, we just have his phone. Why do you have his phone? Who is this? My name's Jif, dickhead. Hold on, I know that voice. Clinton, is that you? Uh, yeah, Mr. Arnold? You can just call me Jack now, you no longer work for me. Jif... You can still call me Mr. Arnold because I don't like you. What the fuck? Don't you remember who I am? That's exactly why I don't like you. Now, why do you have Loomis's phone? He left it behind. We just grabbed it while we were there. Where'd he go? He was taken. By a zombie. Taken again? Oh, he's never going to come back for another season at this rate. Wait, are you telling me there are smart zombies now? It's the only logical conclusion. Nobody could survive being run over that many times. Doesn't matter. The important thing is we find him. He's in trouble. We're already on our way to find him. I still really don't know why we should care, except that Vanessa might be there. Because the very fabric of the flat is being torn apart, you idiot. Don't you understand? Of course. I think it's pretty obvious that we don't. Things are going wrong, boys. Very wrong. There's a taint in the air. Corruption. Zombies might be the least of our troubles before long. Barnabas will know what to do. Where is he? He's Barnabas. He was the butler. Oh. He's, uh, he's dead, Jack. Jack? I'm here. Listen, I'm going to send someone your way. Stay put, and they'll be there in a jiffy. Ha! <laughs> I cannot stress to you both how important it is that Loomis is found. I know you can do it. There's a reason I hired you both. So, explain that for me. Well, it seems like... Stop. Before you say anything, I meant why does our former employer need to contact Loomis in the first place? It's a bit weird that he'd be casually calling him up, right? People have lives outside of you and me, Jif. They could be friends, or enemies, or lovers. And why is he the whiz? Could be a computer hacker. I never saw much of him around the lab after he hired us, but it's feasible he did some IT-type stuff. He always wore that burgundy suit, you remember? The three-piece. I remember. Oh, oh dear. What is it now? Oh, my bullet wound is seeping. Oh, you'll have to change the bandage. For fuck's sake. Now, Clinton. Only if you turn the mic off. Fine. Fine, it's done. No, it's not. It is. Why would I lie? Because you're a pathological asshole. that's why. I can see the light is still on. (sighs) Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jiff and Clinton's Not-So-Real-Time-Anymore Survival Guide. More of a post-event look at the activities of the day with reflections by myself and my offsider, Clinton. It's such a no-brainer. It's brainless. I don't know why you throw in those stupid little quips. I'm saying the name of the show in the show. It's about context, Clinton. It's about bringing art to life in your media. You're an idiot. Yeah, but I'm smart. What? And at least I'm not a pussy, Clinton. Imagine how dead would be if I had your constitution. Have you forgotten so soon, Jif? Forgotten what? Forgotten the frying pan machete massacre that saved your life. Oh, well, yeah, but... Maybe you've forgotten that I still have the machete. Did you just threaten me? What did it sound like? I like you, Clinton. You got a bit of a caged animal inside you, don't you? Fuck off. Why do you think he hired us anyway? I thought that much would be obvious. Did you? It's a filthy, dirty world, Clinton. When this is all over, there's going to be corpses and shit everywhere. And we're going to be sitting pretty tidy. You know why? Why? Because who's going to be their first call? That's right. The janitors.